presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We are taken by storm. Taking it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday. Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. Yeah. But holy commo I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We have five days a week. We go seven and a half hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? My wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 152. You get the NASDAQ up three. S&Ps are off 28. Gold contract down $32, trading $18.96 an ounce. Silver off a buck, $24.26 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 85 cents, trading $40.28 a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10-year note up 10 ticks, trading $139.07. The 30-year up 26 ticks at $175.06 in King Dollar. King dollar is up 459 ticks, trading 93, 524. The euro is at 117. The yen is out here at 105 and a half. And the British pound is at 129 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You get a sideways market out here uh, after a big market day yesterday, folks. You take a look at the SPY. The SPY uh, right now is down two bucks. You're trading 350, 34, bottom line. You get 55 million shares uh, as you're backing down. Yesterday, we went up with 80 million. Uh, looks to me like it's just taking a rest at this particular point. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX. What do you have with the NDX 100? Same type of setup in the NDX. Uh, NDX got down on price point today about 293.11. Right now, you're at 294.92. And it's all about Apple inside this NDX out here today. So you can see that the correlation is pretty amazing, actually. Um, at one point, Apple was down four bucks. Uh, that brought the market uh, down into lower levels. Uh, it looks like at this particular point, we just uh, Apple just went from a price point um, at 10 minutes or two. We were at uh, 119.65. Bottom line brings it all the way back up to the uh, 121.69. And we'll see whether it can hold that price. Uh, the 129.46 right now, right where we are in Apple, is the crucial coming into the close. Because if it can't hold that, uh, what we do have down at the 119.65 is a high volume low. Now, what you have happening here with Apple is this: at that level, folks. Okay, that was the it was the end of an ABC structure on the way down. That was the price projection. You can see uh, the A point on this was 124.74, which is established at 11 o'clock. Your B point was 120.78, which you get four bucks. Four bucks off of the 123.68 is 119.68. And guess what? We went to 119.65. Now, that being said, what ends up happening is that when you come down like that and you do have a high volume low, the probability is that you can get back to that level. So this is why this uh, 121.46, when you are looking at Apple, is so crucial. We go and we take a look at the uh, gold contract. So they smoke gold down here, got gold going down into the price point of 1889. Uh, that being said, when, it, when we're dealing with that 1889, you get 256,000 contracts. Well, we're going into, let me just pull this up here so you can see this. 
If you can put the chart up, Al, I, I can see the charts. The charts are com coming across. If you put the uh, on 923, folks, okay, uh, the bottom line is that you came down here with 412,000 contracts. Today, you come down at 256. So bottom line is that you are coming into that area. You do have lighter volume you're coming into that area. And this is going to be all about the good old King Dollar. As we go over to King Dollar, what you're going to see out here, folks, is that uh, King, King Dollar caught a bid out here today. Um, it looks like the bid is going to hold. Let's just see. There we go. The bid right now, we're at 93.534. Uh, to get in, the, you got to get over 93,991. That's the real bottom line. That's what has to get over, and that's an order to hold a higher price. You know, we'll see if uh, it can do it. Uh, there's, there's no doubt that it had a good day out here today. Uh, it matched the down day that it had on Friday. On Friday, we had come down from 93,588 to 93 flat. Uh, today, you go from 93 flat and you go up to uh, 93,597. Some of the higher volume equities out here in this marketplace. And this is going to be a light volume market again, uh, once again out here today. We have uh, Apple is the is the big dude out here. Apple right now is down 270. You got uh, Carnival off 115. Citigroup is down 214. Now Citigroup came up with numbers as well as uh, J.P. Morgan. Numbers weren't bad, but uh, bottom line is that the market didn't treat them well. Um, you get uh, Tesla is up uh, 430. Wells Fargo is down 88 cents. You get Walt Disney up 423. Let's see what's happening with Disney. Disney got quite a bump up here today. Okay, so Disney, look at this. Yeah, Disney got some action going here. So what was this all about? Yeah, really, they're just buying it. That's the bottom line. That's that's the bottom line out here. Uh, Amazon. We go over to Amazon. What do you have with Amazon? This is uh, the beginning. Uh, today is day one of Prime Day. They're going to have two Prime Days, of course, today and tomorrow. Uh, up another $14. Amazon right now is trading $34.57 and $35.52. That's the high out here on Amazon. Uh, bottom line, there's no reason that uh, it's not going to get uh, whacked. Yesterday, uh, Amazon did 8.3 million shares, and that's going into high with 3.9. We did come down with 8.1. But the bottom line is that when you're pop, popping higher and you have that kind of force like we did in Amazon yesterday, that's telling me that that high is going to get tested of that uh, 3552. And that's been quite a move since the last low that we had at 2871. Amazon uh, just moves by... Uh, huge amounts, folks, uh, on a continual basis. Microsoft, let's go take a look at Microsoft. Uh, yesterday, you had them all going uh, topside with volume. Microsoft's up another three bucks. You're at 224 right now. And Microsoft looks like it's going to go whack a tie, too, which is at 232. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up, no, trading down 140. NASDAQ is up 18. SP is down 60. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30 day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! 
The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 135. The Nasdaq is uh, up 23. S&Ps are off 24. And you get the BlackRock uh, Chief Executive Officer Larry Fink uh, saying uh, that he thinks that what we're going to see here uh, well, this would be on his company first, um, uh, that half the work is returning to office. Uh, he thinks, okay, let's get this straight. Chief Executive Officer Larry Fink said the world would be a lot greener if office buildings never reached their full capacity. Um, as we move more and more towards a digital society, the need for hydrocarbons will be reduced. Fink said, I want a future in which only 50% of the workers are working in offices, the other 50% we could rotate are working from home. Uh, this is a this is a big number. So uh, let me just pull this up. So this is BlackRock, and I believe BlackRock has something like 13 trillion. You know, under management. So you're talking about some, let's just get look at this for a second. So you get BLK. A baby's traded $642 a share. You get volume behind the move. Okay, so they have 16,300 employees. So they're saying that they're going to more than likely keep 50% of them home. Yeah, and here it is here. This number is a phenomenal, folks. Okay, so picture this. This number, they right now have under management $7.81 trillion. Um, so bottom line is that uh, this is something that, you know, we know it's changed already. But if you start getting all these financial companies that they actually do keep 50% home and rotate them out, there's not going to be a need for uh, as many of those uh, office buildings uh, in these major cities as that we have. You know, well, let's put it this way, not a need at this particular point. It doesn't mean that it won't be able to catch up at, at some particular point. Uh, but that would be a long that would be a long period. There's no doubt. Uh, Rent-wise, out here, this is this is a big number. So check this out. Th this would finally, it would seem that it would finally happen anyway. Let me pull this up. How? Let's see, San Fran. The rents have gone down over 30% in San Francisco, folks. 
That is one, that, that might as well be a crash. That's the real bottom line. Let me just look at this for a second. Find this one. That is one monster number. So, of course, when you get a rent situation that goes down that, that quickly, uh, bottom line is that that is going to hit the prices uh, really quick also. Until I find that one, that, that's on one side of the uh, equation. On the other side of the equation, demand, demand for uh, luxury homes has uh, gone up dramatically. Um, There we go. So you got uh, demand for luxury homes is soaring. Uh, High-end sales that jumped 42% in the third quarter from a year earlier, according to a report uh, from the brokerage Redfin. That's the largest uh, jump dating back to 2013. Uh, sales of mid-price uh, homes climbed just 3%, while affordable purchases declined 4%. And uh, this is one of this is one of these deals, folks. So that uh, the bottom line is that you do have a, a lot of folks that are moving. Um, you know, from cities into the suburbs. And, uh, you know, as they move out, there's many folks that were paying big rents in the cities that can definitely uh, buy suburban homes pretty easily. Uh, Redfin defines luxury as the most expensive 5% of the homes in a given market. Um, High-end sales in Sacramento um, jumped 86%. So check that out. Now, uh, Sacramento is still quite a way away from San Francisco. You're still talking about, you know, 150 miles away from it. But bottom line, that is, that's a big number. Uh, they jumped, luxury sales jumped 63% in California's island empire. Now, if you ever look in the map on the island of California's island empire, it's east of Los Angeles, but it's in the middle of nowhere, folks, okay? In fact, when the crash came in 2007, 2008, this island empire, I remember it well because we were on the the air on an island empire and i remember what had happened is that space wise it was a huge amount of land at that particular point there wasn't hundreds of thousands of people which are out there right now uh but bottom line is that when that crash came in man i, I forget whether it was 50 or 60 percent of the houses went into um foreclosure that being said you know it's expanding right now again but each and every time that there is a hit, uh, that place gets hit in a big way. The reason being is that it's so far away from major thoroughfares. Let's see. So you got uh, you get they're moving out of Portland. They're moving. They're moving. Oh, look at this one. Sixty percent in West Palm Beach. No, no, they increased in West Palm Beach. Say they increased sixty-one percent in Portland, Oregon, sixty percent in West Palm Beach. Uh, in New York, the sales dropped 2% in uh, Nassau County. So bottom line is that we're going to start, start, well, you're going to see it, you're going to see more of it. That's what it really comes down to. Particularly uh, if you have the case uh, that you got a Larry Fink coming out saying that the bottom line is that 50% of those people are going to be home. They're going to rotate them. Um, Microsoft is on the deal. You're gonna, your pay is going to get adjusted uh, but, you know, we, you start looking at these numbers, those are big numbers. And so it's going to be intriguing as to what do people need. Uh, they're definitely going to need an extra room. That's, that, there's, there's no doubt about that. They are definitely going to need an extra room uh, because if you're going to be set up for doing real business, uh, bottom line, you know, you're going to need some uh, quiet. And that is just saying that you need more house, you know. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at Google. So uh, bottom line is that uh, Google's going to be the first one up in these antitrust cases. Now, these antitrust cases are going to take a long period of time, no doubt about that. Uh, but bottom line is that, uh, you know, Google out of the fangs has been the um, weakest. You know, uh, we, we came from about 1406 or 1579. But you can see you're only at the beginning of the downdraft in September, whereas the yesterday you had all of these runners uh, in, a, in a monster way. Facebook had a big move out here yesterday. Uh, actually, Facebook is kind of laid, laid up the same way, man. Facebook is uh, at 277. So that hasn't got into that downdraft uh, also. As on the September 3rd, September 4th level, that those the, the powerful equities, meaning... The Microsofts, 
the Amazons, the Apples, okay, they are all laying out at the very top of, I'll just show you right now. They are laying out at the very top of the downdraft. Like what, what, what Apple, Apple's at 121, it made it up to uh, 125 today. Uh, 128.84 is kind of the first day that we were down hard uh, on the 3rd of September. Now, what would be interesting with Apple out here today is that uh, 123, yeah, Apple, it, it, it's, it's interesting here, man. Apple could do a failure on price and volume at 123.70 today. Stay right there, folks. Come right back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 102. NASDAQ is up 39. S&Ps are down 20. We'll come right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. TFNN has developed a daily programming lineup for traders by traders. We start every trading day live at 8.30 a.m. with Tommy O'Brien hosting the morning market kickoff as he starts the day off by breaking down everything you need to know about what's going on for the trading day ahead. At 9 a.m., Larry Pesavento takes your calls and questions live on the air for the opening bell as he hosts Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom and Tommy O'Brien host the Bull Bear Trading Hour. At 11 a.m., it's Kevin Hanks and Alex Coffey from TD Ameritrade Network with Fast Market, Basil Chapman at noon with the Tiger Technicians Hour, Steve Rhodes hosts the Trader's Edge at 1 p.m., Dave White with the Power Trading Hour at 2 p.m., and Tom O'Brien closes out the day for the final hour of trading live from 3 till 4. Don't miss a second of our daily programming lineup. Tune in to Tiger TV every trading day live at TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials down 98. NASDAQ is up 37. S&P is off 20. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 30 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see right under featured content. You're going to see it right in the middle, the opening call. You can just hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month for $128. You can get it for six months for $595, which is a savings of $173 or 22%.
You can get it for a year for $9.95, which is a savings of $541 or 35%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. You can take whatever one you like. You like it. You keep it. You don't like it. You got to get your money back. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you doing there? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Well, uh, good. We actually got some rain. We had a bit of a drought, actually, for most of the summer. So we got some rain now. That's good. Cool. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, market-wise, what do we have here? I get your charts up here. Let's take a look at them. Yeah, so on the left, I've got my daily chart. In the middle, I've got the weekly. On the right, I've got the monthly. This is the Dow. The Dow has made the patterns that I look at all the time, and they repeat in the market. I wonder if I can just find it here. I'll just show it. Uh, I'll get it there. Um, I'm always looking for certain patterns that repeat, and I'm finding it right here. There it is. So... I'm only looking at three patterns, straight up, straight down, cup formation, and an arch formation. In the um, arch formation, you can you combine the, the straight down, and then you roll over, and if you take out that left side low, it looks like a lowercase h. You can keep going down. We've seen that uh, for in cell modes. That's what we see. Or you can even make another arch, which is like an M. I'll show that in a, in a little while. It's a okay. lowercase m pattern on the right. If you take out the left side high in this cup formation, it can go higher. So that to me is really important. There are a bunch of other other techniques that I, I discuss on my show. In fact, the last couple of days, I've had some demonstrations of some of the techniques. Now, what we're looking at is in the Dow, there's this cup formation. The high was 29,199 on the 3rd of September, and we came down sharply to 26,537. And then... The stochastic and on balance volume all gave nice signals to turn up, and the MACD turned up. We've actually been long since March, started long March the 23rd, the day of the low, and we also have diamonds that we bought um, on the, I believe it was at about 20,990 in the Dow. Um, that was around about April the 3rd, and we've still got those. And what we're anticipating now in the Chapman Wave methodology, another technique that we use is we're always looking for the fourth highest peak. So what happens is if you identify a key low, you count each successively higher peak and alphabetize them sequentially on the way up all the way to a G. But it's that fourth highest peak. A is one, B is two, C is three, and the fourth is D. D is where other things can happen. Yes, you can keep going high. Just here in the corner, you can see the daily chart went to a D in the day in the Dow, and it went then to an E and then an F. But at D is where we raise the foot off the accelerator, hover over the brake, make some decisions. So what I've said to subscribers is, as we're getting closer, we've gotten to a leg C in the Dow. I'm anticipating that there should be a pullback today, and that's what we've gotten. That's the, um, that makes it a peak C. Then above 28,957, uh, there should be another leg up anytime this week, and that should take us to D, and D is where I start to make decisions about what's going on. But the last high of 29,199, that's kind of the target area. It doesn't have to get there, but that's the target area. And you can see the cup formation in the weekly chart with the MACD still strong. Stochastic's improving. Monthly chart is still in leg B. So that's the Dow. We were very fortunate on that. Was it a week ago when I was speaking to? Yes, last week. You remember on Tuesday, there was that sudden sharp sell-off? Was it last Tuesday? Or Tuesday? <laughs> the days are melding into one another. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, there was this very, yeah, it was last Tuesday. So the IWM, the Russell 2000, it was much higher in the morning before my newsletter, the opening call went out at about 8.15. The, the uh, futures were much higher. The IWM was much higher. But I said, you know, I like this very much. I think the I, IWM is this rotation as the, um, the, high, the, the tech stocks are taking a breather. I think that this is a sector that could improve quite a bit. So I had all these different uh, techniques that we were talking about, and I said, let's put in a bid, a really low bid. We were very fortunate on that pullback. We managed to get it. So we're in um, from the 6th of October, and look at this nice move that's gone up. So it's gone also to a peak C today, and I'm anticipating a leg D. So in my show, um, I think it was we when today's Tuesday. Yeah, last week I was showing how the, how this works with the Chapman Wave parallel one to one extension where we where we where we should go. I was also talking about a pattern that I talk very often, which is the 
I call it the falling axe just to kind of give it a nickname, but it's really a declining cone. So you, what you see is the price goes up and keeps bumping against resistance. Then it makes either a D, E or F top, starts to make lower highs and much lower lows. And then it suddenly forms a base and it turns around. The next thing you know, you've got either a V or a cup formation. And if the price takes out from the low to that declining trend line, you can get a one-to-one -to, -one to the upside. And the exciting thing about this particular technique is that it could be in a parallel sequence. It means that you've got the same number of bars going to the upside in this particular movement. So that's what I was drawing in over there. And I always start off very conservatively before I give the full extension. But so far, that's working out. And there's the weekly. It's the same pattern. So we've still, you know, we've still got our long positions. Uh, we added... Um, we, we're trying to build a little bit of a kitty with, with cash, but at the same time, instead of getting high price stocks, if the chart formations work, we're trying to get very low price, like single digit price stocks that really have good quality to them, try to get in so that we can still conserve cash and, and have a very nice position. Because if something's going up, it it's nicer to have something that's at, at seven, eight, nine dollars than 70 or 80 or 90 because if the percentage is the same at least you're conserving some of that cash so that's important to us and uh so we've had some success with that one one particular one today turned around exactly the way we wanted and in fact it's up very sharply i call these screamers because when they work when they single digits they give very nice percentages on the upside um and so that's what we're trying to go for here. So yeah, um, and, and what what has happened in this market? It's almost like 2000. If you can get a streamer, you can get the rest of all the day traders on board pretty quickly. <laughs> especially if they recognize it. Especially if it's a name yes. that kind of is out there, right. and then they just pile on. And then you know the market. It's it's a I, I say a game, not in the worst sense, but in the best sense. Oh, because yeah. it takes a lot of sophistication, it takes a lot of ex a lot of experience. Yeah. We're always learning, but at the same time, uh, you have to understand the modus operandi behind some of these things, and I think that makes a difference. So, uh, you know, we, I've spoken to you about sometimes we have very short term trades, could last uh, minutes, and sometimes a long time. You know, we're still in the dollar all the way from April of 2018 at 90.07 using the UUP fund. It screamed all the way to 103 and then it pulled back sharply. Now it's having a nice move. It's actually holding quite nicely. So we'll see what happens with the dollar. Folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right into featured content. You're going to see the opening call right there. You just hit subscribe. Pals, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the program tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Dow down 100, NASDAQ up 29, S&P's off 20. I'm right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. 
New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now out on 79. You get the Nasdaq up 36. S&P's down 18. Uh, bottom line is that uh, what you have out here, folks, is a sideways market. If we go take a look at the NYSE uh, volume-wise and see what we're happening uh, out here volume-wise, you get uh, 492 million. Now, yesterday inside the NYSE, folks, you had a monster contraction of volume here. Um, we did 780. Um, we went up to two prior days with uh, 834, 895. Those are also monster contractions. We should do them, be doing about a billion up here. Uh, that being said, in the composite, different ball game. Nasdaq composite, uh, the composite did do 3.9 billion up there yesterday. So the composite had the juice behind the move uh, as we did go up yesterday. We got to take a look at. Um, let's go over and take a look at a few of the retailers because what we're going to have here and we're going to start talking about. Um, is guess what? You know, Christmas shopping is here, man, and uh, Amazon is kicking it off. So Walmart, Walmart is up uh, two dollars and thirteen cents. You're at one forty-six, and you know, bottom line, we'll see whether it's can make it up to a high. The high there is that one fifty-one area. Uh, we go take a look at TGT Target because it's all it's it's going to be all about how much can these people push out digitally. Uh, you're not going to get people in the middle of these big stores, folks. It's just not going to happen. Um, and digitally, guess what? Target right now, uh, I believe this is at all-time highs, too. Yeah, this is quite a move that Target actually made. Yeah, we're at uh, 165.93, and they're going to be uh, they're coming out with the numbers November 18th. They are going to be looking to take in $20 billion. And then take to the bottom line a dollar thirty-six. You know, so bottom line is that uh, you're, you're going to be talking about some uh, big numbers coming in. And actually, this could, I, I believe when we went when we went over to uh, Amazon. So check this out. And I think this is the first quarter, folks, that Amazon is actually looking to do a billion dollars a day. And let's go look at this because and, and it was so wild about this. I remember. Years ago, when I was saying that that day was going to come, because we were, we were showing the difference in Amazon and Walmart. Walmart is still so much bigger in revenue than Amazon. It's pretty amazing, actually. So, yeah, here it is. This is going to be the first quarter. Uh, this coming quarter, Amazon is looking to do $92 billion. So just slightly uh, over a billion dollars a day to the top line and then to the bottom line. Uh, they're looking out here to take in 727. Now let's go to Walmart for a second. So remember that. So the, the yearly number is 368 billion. Now watch this though. I think they're at like almost a trillion in Walmart. No, half a trillion. So they're at 520. They're at 550. 550. That is a just a huge number, man. Uh, so right now. They're only taking in. It's interesting, man. I mean, 
Walmart right now is only taking in 40 million more per quarter. And let's just look at this for a second. So Walmart has 2.2 million people working for it. And I can't get the stores quick, but remember 2.2 million people. And then we'll go over to Amazon. Two point two million people. Then we go to Amazon. Look at that. Eight hundred and seventy six million. Yeah. On a longer basis, I mean, Walmart's going to be competing out there. There's no doubt, as is uh, Target. Uh, but because what you do have also is that you have the amount of stores that have closed um, that all that peripheral business is going to basically be coming to these uh, big box stores. Uh, I actually, uh, in between shows out there today, I actually went down to a, a couple of the really nicer malls around here. Not a Class A mall, but nice malls. It would be, yes, yeah, it's, it's actually, yeah, it's not a Class A mall. It, it's not a Class B either, okay? Um, it's a newer mall in Florida. We have a lot of strip malls. It's not a strip mall. This is a, this is a decent mall. That being said, the amount of dark, spaces in that mall folks was astronomical and i just some of these i just can't see coming back um you know because the traffic is not there the traffic is just not there and the malls are huge of course so the real question is what are they going to do to get those filled up what are the rents going to be and uh, we'll see commercial wise uh, just exactly where that's going to shake out what i do expect we're going to see like if we go into the um Let's just go into the, if you go into the pizza business for a bit, what you are going to see is that you're going to see more ghost kitchens. So a ghost kitchen has to do with, we're sitting at home, you can, you, you can build these kitchens that you can have three or four, we could have as many things, you, names that you want to sell, all of the above, you know, pizza, chicken wings, ice cream. These are the things, if you Google them, you can see on Google Trends, folks, this is what restaurants actually do. On Google Trends, you can go up there, you can see exactly where the biggest demand is coming from. You can see the zip codes where the demand is coming from. Uh, we're going to see a lot of these uh, ghost kitchens pop up because two different things end up happening. The landlord can change them around pretty quickly. The leaser, okay, Bottom line, could have three different restaurants selling product that they know, number one, travels well. They know that in the demographic they're in, they know where the ordering is coming from. And you, uh, you do not have a high overhead in the aspect of help. What you do have, and that's what has to be counted uh, ASAP, is that you have the aspect, okay, whether it's the Uber Reach, whether it's the DoorDash, um, you have that cost that's in there in order to get the delivery there. But guess what? They'll figure that out. And I think that's the route where we're actually going. And, you know, when I, when I look back, I remember the first time that one of my cousins came home, this is years ago now, uh, and was, we were sitting around a family dinner on Sunday. Everyone would get together, and I had a monster family. And the... So it's my first cousin. She says, I'm, I'm getting these, these uh, frozen dinners, okay? And everyone was horrified, and she's laughing. Bottom line, that was the beginning of the frozen dinner thing. That was like the TV trays and all that. So when I look at where we've been, you start from there, then fine dining started in a big way. Delivery started in a big way. Now I think what you have is that where we're going is that, yeah, these meals will get delivered, you get decent meals delivered, and guess what, you just sit at your doorway, you get decent meals, you can put them on a plate, you can do whatever you want, but I think that's where this whole business is going, and um, restaurants that have caught on to that early are doing very well, because the, the fact of the matter is, uh, those are high-end high numbers, and um, you know the bottom line is that, yeah, it's, there's an expense to it, there's no doubt there's an expense to it, but you can see as we go forward, that's how it seems to be uh, happening out here. Dow. Dow Industrials are down uh, 123. We get the Nasdaq up 17. S&Ps are down 24. And it's all about Apple in these next 10 minutes. Apple's down three bucks right now, trading 121.34. We'll come right back.
Back in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006. And like many of you, was drawn in by Bam! as well as whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow down 108. NASDAQ is up 11. S&Ps are off 23. Uh, Eli Lilly. Eli Lilly uh, today, folks, also had a halt to their trial uh, they paused it out of a safety concern. It's down $4.47. Uh, what's going to get interesting here is that uh, uh, that's where, if you go over to Moderna uh, and you take a look at it, you're going to see uh, this little baby out here today is up $2.99. And because what does happen, no doubt, is yet Johnson & Johnson had a little trouble. I'm not sure whether they got back on, you know, uh, opened it back up again. Uh, now you get Eli Lilly. Uh, it's, it's going to be uh, pretty wild watching this as we get closer uh, to actually getting a vaccine out there. Because uh, bottom line is if a few of them drop off and, in fact, you know, the rest of them stay on, well, guess what? That's going to be a huge amount of business uh, that, is, that no doubt is coming into them. Uh, coming into the close out here, it's, it's always all about Apple right now. It's pretty amazing. So when I started the program, Apple was down $1.78. You're down $3.32 right now. And uh, that just turned the tide uh, slightly inside the NDX 100. Um, we, were, we were up about 50 points when I started the program. Right now, you're down 17 points. And we get over and we take a look. at This is still a sideways move. That's the bottom line, folks. Uh, you do have a sideways move. Now, we'll see. Um, you know, if Apple closes down near this uh, low that was established out here at 119, that'll be a little bit different story uh, because, you know, you had, you had plenty of a topside action out here yesterday. 
uh, inside of Apple, but you just about gave it back. 119.28 was the low of yesterday before this baby started. And right now we got, we're at 121.15. We got down to 119.65. So uh, it is pretty wild uh, how fast uh, you can actually give back uh, prices uh, when you get an expansion uh, as we did yesterday. Right now, you know, the S&Ps are up 60. Yes, you're back 25. That's no big deal. Uh, Dow Industrial is down uh, uh, 119. That's also not a big deal. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it. Take ownership of a flag. And thanks for being here, folks. Have a great night, safe night. Join us tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. We kick off 9 o'clock this week. Tom will be back next week at 8.30. Have a great 